she went straight to sleep after the bottle. Oh, of course she did. Emma always behaves for her daddy. Robin, I think, uh, I think we should go see Kelly, maybe even Laney about what's Why? You think they know how to put together this swing? This isn't, this isn't going away. We already discussed this. No, I brought it up and you shut it down. Look, you know what? I hate stress just as much as the next person, but you have to be fair, okay? There's a lot going on here. This is all about being a new mother. Robin, this isn't normal stress. I mean, I could hear Emma crying from down the hall. You were acting like nothing. Well, because I've been reading about that. You know, there's this whole school of thought that sometimes you should let a baby cry for a reasonable amount of time. When they're going to sleep, when they're waking up, they either need to be changed <sighs> or, or fed or even just held. I've read, too. Okay, okay, really? If you start lecturing me on how to be a good mom, I think my head might explode. And you know what? We have to stop denying this. Get a checkup. Maybe if it's not postpartum, maybe it's something else. Like what? I don't know, Robin. Something. Okay, look. I am the first person to admit that when we first brought Emma home, I was extremely overwhelmed. Okay, but that's over now. Now it's just a matter of, you know, making adjustments and finding my rhythm. You know what? I, I, I think that you were right. I think your instincts are right on. There is something wrong. I just didn't say anything because, you know, I'm trying to figure it out for myself. Okay. What is it? This place isn't working anymore. What do you what do you mean? This place, our apartment, it's too small. I admit it. I think I think we should move. And you know how hard it is for me to admit when I'm wrong. But I admit it. This apartment is smothering me. Well, I've always thought it was too small, but that's not the point. <laughs> that is the point. That's the point, because that means that we can move, and everything will be better, and I can breathe again. So you really think that getting more room is going to help you fix whatever's happening? Yes, yes. I mean, our lives are changing every day. You know, some days are harder than others. And when you mentioned postpartum, it threw me. It made me doubt myself, okay? But you have to put things into context. I'm still healing from major surgery. I'm trying to raise a baby. Being sleep deprived doesn't help either of us. And you know, you haven't been an angel either, but I'm not accusing you of having some sort of mental breakdown. Well, I'm sorry I made you doubt yourself. I just think it's healthier for both of us if we weren't pretending that you weren't in a funk. All right, well, I'm... You more instead of trying to fix me I'll be happier and things will be a lot more comfortable around here okay. wow I can't believe all of that square footage and a yard I mean it's perfect it is a little further from the hospital than you wanted but you do realize Elizabeth lives literally around the corner from there and she loves the neighborhood she says it's a great place to raise a family and the house does look awesome. Mm. Well, what do you say we go over there tomorrow, and if we love it, we'll make an offer. Okay, whoa, whoa, wait a second. We're not going to put an offer <laughs> on the first house we see. Well, why not? You know, sometimes you get an instinct about things. Yes, I know. I have always wanted a back porch. Maybe we could screen it, and we could uh, sleep there in the summertime. It would make a great nursery. <laughs> you mean better than a closet? Yes. You know, I think that a real family needs a real family home. So let's agree if we love the house, make an offer.